Hey, this is Eason Abelard from Passion 47. Thank you for watching our videos. I really do appreciate it. And I definitely appreciate all the comments because that's what these two videos are coming from, uh, from your comments. So keep them coming. And this is part two of a video which I wasn't expecting. But after I finished the last video on smoothing groups, I noticed that I didn't get a chance to talk about the baking portions and what smoothing groups and how they affect the baking process because they do they really do so first thing I'm going to do is jump right in and I'm actually tired of watching this vanilla thing so <laughs> let's go ahead and go to our shading tree and let's just do something real quick I'm gonna jump into environments and change my environment uh oh so I have HDR light studio and I'm just going to add an HDR map here just gonna be a random shot Ooh, I like that. So that's what it's going to look like. Close it. And you're updated. Now, I have I have to say, I absolutely love Modal's preview renderer. Because there were days when I used to use things like uh, Mental Ray. And I can't even tell you, setting up Mental Ray to begin with and getting just an ounce of clarity on what it looks like was painful absolutely painful but now look at this just dropped it in and it looks awesome all right so now we can stop looking at that other gray still so what is it that we really want to do well whenever we save out you can see that this is this isn't our, our low mesh this is actually our high res version you can tell by the huge amount of polys that are going on down here when we bake out to our low res version you can see this one is smooth and it still has our normal map on it. I'm just going to take that to the side. Come into our shading. Make sure that's selected. And we have our hammer material here that has the little map on there. So what I'm going to do now is, is I'm going to jump into our UV map. And if you haven't seen, check out my, one of my other videos on UV. And you, you'll learn about this whole process and what I did here and how to actually bake. But what I want to talk about isn't the baking portion. It's actually this portion. This is what happens, well, when you don't have a high res to look at. So this portion, as you can see, when I when I baked, this is actually nice and smooth. And the reason for that is, is because the smoothing group is actually set. And it's smooth. Now, if I went ahead and I changed this, I went to shading and went to what you would have normally saw. I'm going to check out this material. Set it to zero. You see that updated. And if I bring back our preview renderer, that updated as well. If I remove this, you can see now you see those nice sharp angles. Well, now if I try to bake, now you can see we have these jagged lines in here. And that goes across the whole entire mesh. So before you even try to export anything out, before you try to bake out your maps, make sure your smoothing groups are all set. Because what will happen is, is if we render this thing out, and it's rendered out as sharp, if I go ahead and I'm just going to open up Mom's set real quick. All right, so now I'm going to bring this across, and I'm going to load in some of our maps. I'm going to save this out. And I'm going to keep it at a 2K so everything looks the same. And we're just going to let that bake. And in the meantime, I'm just going to open a Marmoset. set. And so we have this nice gray background. I could change it. Let's move it around. I will use this one. Done. And so this now baked out. And you can still see those edges there. So in Marmoset set now, I'm going to... Load up my maps, which which I have a scene rendered uh, in our folder. And I'm going to now drop in the map that I just baked down. And as you can see, this map is really bad. Even if I gloss it up and, you know, try to, you know, I can I can finesse it as much as I want to, you know, try to hide it by, by making it completely reflective. But we still have one underlining problem, and that's that our normals are baked extremely hard because of the smoothing group. Now this was this would be fine if we were using just a regular 
uh, you know, hard surface model and it had those edges that we wanted. But that's not what we want. We want to make sure that we have our smoothing groups uh, created. So when we come into our shading tree and we choose our material, we want to make sure that we do have this set. Because once it's set, I hit preview, you can see that automatically updates that. And, ooh, that just looks so beautiful. Almost makes me wonder why am I rendering in, in tool bag? Question, question. <laughs> and what, what we end up getting instead is, if I just drag this one in, is this version. So this was a little, this is definitely a shorter video, but I just want to make sure that you had a chance to see smoothing groups and how it actually affects the baking process. So make sure that you have the smoothing groups done and done in a manner of which you need it. This is Edison Abelard. Once again, look out. This year we're going to be releasing our own um, line of educational materials. So there's going to be nothing but Moto, Unity, and a few sprinkles here and there of some fun and technologies uh, for enterprise things like AngularJS. But for the most part, it's going to be all about Moto, Substance, and Unity. So look out for that. It's Edison Abelard. I'm out.